I'm so, so proud of her because of all the achievements that she, she gave and provided for us and the people that wants to watch her perform because that's all she wants to do is she wants people to see how good of a dancer, dancer she is or she just wants to perform in front of everybody and that makes her really, really um, special. She feels like a star and that's what I think she is. She is a big star for me in my heart. I love to perform in front of audiences because I love when they smile at me and when they clap, when they applaud for me because it makes me feel proud of myself for all the hard work I've done. Commercial sick, huh? Commercial sucks. Think you could do better? Come study advertising at the Center for Creative Communications. That was impressive. I don't think she'll have any trouble winning a few competitions if you ask me. Keisha, have you ever gone salsa dancing? I haven't, but I'd love to. Have you been? No, I've never been. Why not? I don't know. You want to dance? Yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's too awkward. Right, let's that, that, was weird. that was weird. That was weird. Coming up later on the show, our segment on diamonds and also Canada's only dedicated basketball gym. But first, Centennial College recently introduced its very own internet radio station. The programming is produced by the students and is broadcast from the East York campus located here in Toronto. Let's take a look at the video and see how this all came together. Hey gang, this is Brendan for The Journal. I'm standing outside Centennial College, where right now, radio waves are being broadcast. They're not over the air, over the web. It's Centennial's brand new internet radio station. Let's go inside and check it out. Huh? Gorillas on Chord of Music with Feel Good Inc. That's off 2005's Demon Days. So at this point in the show, in the latter half of the show, I usually do a playlist, and uh, this week's playlist is a South by Southwest playlist. Uh, my name is Kieran Thompson. I am a third year journalism student here at Centennial College. I'm currently on placement at Ox TV, and uh, I host a show called Quarter Music that uh, we broadcast on uh, Centennial Internet Radio. I started doing this last semester as part of a two-hour current event show, and I was asked to come in and help out and so what I did was I came in with a 15-minute segment uh, about music and uh, hence why I, I called it Quarter Music. Th that lasted for the majority of the semester and uh, this semester since everyone's on placement um, I was the only one who volunteered to come back and so I essentially just uh, took over the show and uh, made it strictly about music and uh, uh, extended it to a full hour. Uh, On of three Grammy wins for Only By The Night, Kings of Leon will hit the road this summer for a, for, for a full North American tour. This effort began about, uh, I guess, uh, about a year ago uh, with a student in the Broadcasting and Film program suggesting to our dean, Nate uh, Horowitz, that Centennial College have an internet radio station. We wanted to give the students a new opportunity, an opportunity to get involved in radio, not just as radio listeners, but to give volunteer opportunities for students to, to actually produce radio. Our aim is to is to encourage students to volunteer, not just from the uh, Center for Creative Communications, from, but from elsewhere in the college as well. And if we get to the point where we can actually do um, a public affairs show weekly on a regular basis, so we have a program which is about Centennial College, and uh, that would be further encouragement for students college-wide, especially the other campuses, to, um, to listen and to become involved. Um, it's a good opportunity for students to find out if they uh, have an interest in radio and to, uh, uh, to try their hand at it. And um, if they do like it, it's a great opportunity to practice and uh, build some portfolio work. There you have it. Radio is still a valid form of information and entertainment. 
If you want to check out Kieran's show, you can go to this website. It's ondemand.centennialcollege.ca. You can listen live every Friday at 5 o'clock. Also, if you're a Centennial College student and you think you might want your own radio show, just send Ted Fairhurst an email. You can find his email on the website. So that's it for now. I'm Brendan Hayne. Back to you guys in the studio. Welcome back. As the saying goes, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Colin, don't be so biased. Although, I wouldn't mind a diamond ring. Men, pay attention to our next story, and you may learn a thing or two about diamonds. Until the 15th century, only kings wore diamonds to symbolize their courage and power. The word diamond comes from the Greek adamas, which means strength. The ancient Greeks believed that diamonds were splinters of stars fallen to the earth. It has also been said that diamonds are tears of the gods. Another legend has it that there was an inaccessible valley in Central Asia carpeted with diamonds, patrolled by birds of prey in the air. However, the exact origin of diamonds is still a mystery. Hi, my name is Diana and I'm a gemologist in 